Today, I'm gonna to show you how to start up a brand new phytoplankton culture from an existing culture. The items you're going to need are going to need a funnel. This is optional here. It's a 120 micron filter or a sieve. I use this to culture out my uh, copepods and you'll need a container. And, and the reason that I'm using this sieve is because there's going to be a lot of kind of mulm on the bottom of here, some phytoplankton mulm. I don't know if you can see it in here, but once we drain it into the screen, I'll show you what it looks like. And I don't want that going back in to my culture. I want it to be as fresh as possible. So let's go ahead and filter this out here. So now you can see all of that stuff. It's basically just phytoplankton cells and the screen caught it all. I don't want this going back into my culture. So yeah, that's the reason you need a sieve. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse everything with some hot water, just regular tap water. And then I'll take some vinegar and rinse everything out once again to go ahead and sanitize the culturing container. And if you're culturing in a container like mine that has a spigot, don't forget to run the hot water through there as well as the vinegar. I'll just use plain distilled white vinegar. I'm going to pour a little bit in our culturing container and just wipe it down with a paper towel. That's plenty right there. Don't forget to run a little vinegar through your spigot and wipe down your lid and also don't forget to wipe down your rigid airline tubing all right so i just added some salt water in there mixed at 1.023 you can pretty much do a range of 1.020 to 1.026. That's completely fine on the salt water. I just have it at 1.023 salinity because I use that water to change out one of my clownfish grow out tanks. So now let's go ahead and add this phytoplankton back to our culture container. We're going to add a little bit of F2. And I use Mercer Montana's F2. They got a pretty good mix and it's always reliable and it's some good stuff. And then always get you a sterile pipette. And you can get like a pack of 200 of these on Amazon for like seven or eight bucks, something like that. I'll go ahead and throw a link down in the description below if you want to get all this stuff. And for this size container, about two gallons to two and a half gallons, I like to add six milliliters of Mercero Montana's F2. I find that's the best results for me. So there's three and six. So next up, all we have to do is put our rigid airline tubing through the lid and then hook this right back up to our air pump. So it's pretty much as simple as that. And if you're interested in culturing copepods, like I have down here below, I've got some Tigger pods as well as some Tisby pods. I need to go ahead and do a water change on these next and fill them back up with some fresh phytoplankton. But if you're interested in culturing some copepods, go ahead and tap the video that's on your screen right now. <laughs> 